Just a quick video on how to repair a Fiat Ducato ignition barrel. Um, they're pretty easy to get out. You just pull the casing off, turn it to accessories or on and push that down in the in the actual lock casing and it comes out like this. You turn it around and that one pushes in and then the whole barrel comes out. But once you got it once you got it out, it's a bit tricky to get apart. Uh, especially if the lock's worn, um, it'll turn one way, but it won't want to turn the other. What you've got to do is you've got to push that part up, and that pushes a little part up at the back there. So you push that up, and then turn it the opposite way, like that. So it turns back to the left. And once it turns back, you can then push the, pull the barrel out. And there's the barrel out. This one I've already sort of repaired it, but um, basically if your lock's clicky and it won't turn properly, it's just the, the, the wafers are worn down. Uh, what you've got to do is um, just grab one out, I'll just show you. Just take them all out and you see the little V, they got a little V groove in them, it's hard to see there, but just elongate that V groove towards the towards the bottom. So put your V groove, take it down that way a bit more because uh, the lock wears the wafers jump up a little bit so you've got to take it down towards the bottom so just put a file a bit more of a v groove in there make it a bit wider like such then put them all back in And you've just got to make sure that the sidebar sits all the way down when the when the key's inserted and when the key's not inserted the sidebar jumps up. And when the key when the keys are inserted it goes down fully. Um, don't file the sidebar or anything like that, that just makes it your lock a lot more insecure. So that's about it, just make sure it sits down properly. Uh, it's not jumping up and to put it back together you just uh, do the opposite just goes back uh, you gotta you gotta have the key out a little bit to get it back together and it just goes up in the little pointy bit on the last uh, wafery thing goes up inside that little track there. So it just slides up and you can put your key in and it should work. Uh, if you want to know, just make sure that you know when you push your key either either way that it's working. If it's clicky when you push your you know when you push the key to left or right or up and down then you haven't fixed it properly. Well that's about it. Ah, oh, and just one more point I forgot. You've got to take the face cap off it. Um, the face cap sits on there and it's just um, peened over. So just get a little screwdriver or something and get in behind it and just um, remove the face cap and to put it back together just put it back on in the right position like such and then just um, if you've got a little uh, hammer or just knock it back down the little clips or if you've got a screwdriver or something maybe just tap it down but it's pretty easy and that's it